Great news, Procreate 4.3 is out. Now you can add text and make some small animations in Procreate 4.3. Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to show you the updates of Procreate 4.3. You now can add text and also make some small animations with the layers in Procreate 4.3. So let's get to all the new features. There's a new update for Procreate and it's Procreate 4.3. The way you can find that out if you have the newest update is go to uh, the gallery and then press on procreate and here you can see that this is the new version and it's 4.3 just press on the X to return to the gallery in the new update you can use and import text so I'm just going to open a new file um, just a file of 1920 by 1080 and when you go to the Actions tab, you can see that when you select Add, you can now add text to Procreate. So press on Add Text and then uh, a new window opens with the keyboard and then you just can type in the text. The color of the text is the color you previously selected in Procreate. Now it's turned to white so you won't see it. So you can, you know, uh, use all the color uh, screens and I'm just going to select a color so you can see it. When you press on the canvas, you go back to the edit of the text. So I'm just going to call this Procreate Text. You can also edit the text. When you press on Edit Style, you get a new window and here you can choose all the fonts you want to use. So you can change the fonts and these are all the um, default fonts that are on your iPad. And you can also import uh, other fonts, but I'll show you later. Now I've selected Helvetica and here you can uh, change the style of the font. And you know, some fonts have uh, a few different styles. Helvetica has uh, a lot of different styles you can apply to your text. I'm just gonna set it to bold. In design you can change the size of your font and you know sometimes it just uh, goes beyond uh, the text box but you can easily adjust it when you uh, grab the points then you make your text box bigger. You also have the um, possibility of using kerning and with kerning you change the spaces between the letters. Tracking does the, the same thing. With leading you can change um, the space between the paragraphs. With the baseline you change the baseline of your text and opacity you know you can change the opacity of your font to the right you find the attributes and these are all the align features in procreate and you know if you have worked with text before uh, you know that you know this is the left align center align and right align and this is the justify button and uh, justify um, aligns the spaces uh, evenly on the left and on the right. Just gonna keep it at center. You can also underline your text with pressing this button or uh, do an outline of the text. And the feature here is caps lock and when you turn it on everything is in caps lock and when you, once you have uh, small caps just turn it on and then you know everything is in small caps you can also import fonts and you just have to press on import font and there are several options you can import uh, a font into procreate first of all you can uh, import 
funds from your iCloud Drive if you have selected it. So just press on a font and then it will be added to uh, Procreate. And here you can find it. It's the Huxtable uh, font. You can, you know, import files from uh, on my iPad and there's um, a folder when you select Procreate. Procreate has its own folder and there you can find all the fonts that are uh, imported into the fonts folder. And these are already in uh, Procreate. Another way of importing uh, brushes is to go to Dropbox. If you have Dropbox installed on uh, your iPad, you can, you know, export it to Procreate. I'm just going to choose a font. Well, this is a fun font. And when you have selected the font in Dropbox, just go to the three dots in the upper right corner and then choose export and then you get a pop-up and then just select copy to procreate and then the font will be imported into the folder of procreate in the fonts folder so when you press on it you can see that uh, the font mini is imported into procreate then press cancel and now you can uh, see it in the font so now you have a different font. When you have finished editing your font, you can press on done. And when you press on um, the layers panel and press on it again, you see that you can still edit the text. When you see the A, it's still an editable text. But when you want to do other things with your uh, font, like uh, transform it or use the liquify option you need to rasterize it and then you have to choose rasterize and now you can transform uh, the text and you can also use uh, liquify for instance if you you know want to do some crazy stuff with uh, the fonts you can also uh, use the the warp tool you know to warp the text You can also uh, color the fonts if you want to. So there's just a lot of things you can do with uh, text. You can also use solo visibility. And you know, when you're working in Procreate, sometimes you have just a lot of layers, but you just want to select one layer. And before that, you had to deselect all the other layers, but now you can just press on the little box and then it will change to the layer you uh, really want to see. When you want, want to go back and see all of the other layers, just press on it again. So that's a handy new feature in Procreate. There's another uh, great uh, update and that's uh, exporting layers in, in Procreate. And I'm just going to uh, select uh, an animation I did because now you can uh, sort of uh, export animations. And this is an animation of a walk cycle and maybe later I'll do an entire video on how to animate in Procreate. And here are all the layers and now you can export it when you press on actions go to share and then you can export it as a pdf as png files or as an animated gif the png files is handy you know if you want to export it and use it in other programs like premiere and you know use it as a real animation these are the high res resolutions but there's also an animated gif and here you can, uh, when you press on it, you can adjust the frames per second. Now it's set to 12 frames per second. And, you know, you can change the frames per second. So it will change uh, with 0 0.5. And I just made the cycle and it 
runs best at 12 frames per second. And you can export it uh, web ready and you can also uh, export it in full resolution and then also turn on transparent background. And that's great, you know, if you've made an animation and uh, you already made uh, a background in uh, Procreate or any other app, you can, you know, export it as an animated GIF with a transparent background. Then you can choose between web ready, that's the lowest resolution, or full resolution. And now it's going to export and you can share it through AirDrop to your computer or you can just save it in the Photos uh, app on your iPad. So when you go to um, the Photos app, you can, you know, see the animation. And this is just a, a quick run cycle I did, but you can do a lot of other things with it as well. And this is just uh, the first test I did. And I also made a test with my uh, character, Horace Hippo, just a turnaround. And there is no uh, timeline in Procreate yet. Maybe they'll do it in uh, a new uh, update. But, you know, this is great uh, to, you know, make animations or you can also do animations with the text tool or other animations as well. There are also new blend modes in Procreate 4.3. Just go to uh, the layers panel and then press on N and there you find all the blend modes you can use. And there are some uh, new blend modes added. I think darker color is new. Um, lighter color is new. Under contrast, uh, there's vivid light, linear light, uh, pin light, and under difference, uh, it's divide. That's a new blend mode that's added to Procreate 4.3. There's now a new adjustment in uh, the brushes panel. So when you select the brush and press on it again, you can change all the uh, things uh, with a brush. And when you go to the tab of uh, pencil, you can change the, the smoothing of your brush. And that's the, the streamline. And you know, then you can streamline your brush. So I'm very excited about this new update of uh, Procreate 4.3. Please let me know which feature uh, you like the most. I really like, um, of course, the, the fonts and uh, also that you can do animations. And I'll do more tutorials on how to make animations in Procreate 4.3 and maybe, you know, uh, play around with the fonts as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to know everything about uh, Procreate 4, uh, I've made an ebook and that's available on iBooks. And in that ebook, uh, I'll explain everything in video because every chapter begins with a video and everything is also explained in text with uh, a lot of images. And I will add um, to uh, each update, I will uh, add a new chapter. And this is going to be chapter 12, I think. And I also made some updates for uh, Procreate 4.1, Procreate 4.2, and now Procreate 4.3. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And if you already bought uh, the Procreate 4 video manual, you get all the updates for Procreate 4 and all the updates for free. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!